This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, and verse 9. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken, their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man, none shall return in vain. Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 9. Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash, the bonus of venerable apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well, and peace and blessings to the Lord's elect, the house of David. All right, so Brother Haran coming back at you with another lesson. Lord willing to be edifying and uplifting unto the elect. All right, and uh, I just wanted to go into this uh, real quick. Um, saw an article and I wanted to touch on, all right, going into um, the downfall of America, Babylon the Great. Okay, now we've been coming out here, you know, week in, week out, day in, day out, year in, year out. All right, and been given warning that there's going to come a time where you're going to see the, the downfall of America's power. Okay, and um, the biggest part of America's uh, power being depleted, all right, is is this truth? All right, uh, basically going through the whole part, the whole uh, four corners of the earth, all right, and bringing that awareness, okay, to the inhabitants of the earth, okay, about the the uh, the, the status of America, Babylon the Great, okay, the wickedness. All right, of, 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 of her people, all right, the wickedness of the rulers of this world and how it affects the everyday um, person on, on the planet, all right? Now, specifically here in America, Babylon the Great, all right, the prophecy in the Bible states that at the end of all this war talk and wars and rumors of wars and all that, at the end of it all, America sees her, her destruction, or as it, as is written in uh, Revelation the eighteenth chapter, okay. Um, but even before that, you're gonna have uh, you know uh, a bunch of uh, people revolting against the system because that's when the, the 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 reality finally sets in, okay. And this article is a is a testament to that that reality setting in that the people are waking up and and are very uncomfortable with with uh, with their rulership. Okay, uh, let's get this real quick. All right, and, um, let's get this in Proverbs 29 and 2. All right, it says, uh, when the people, <clears throat> when the people, um, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear through, the people mourn. Okay, so that's the, that's the state that we're in right now. And that's why you're having what we're about to read right now. All right, people are mourning. Okay, they're seeing the truth for what it is, that everything we've been saying is not a lie. All right, it's, it was just too too painful of a realization for people to accept. Okay, that no, there's no way America, this is this is not the country that I've always loved and believed. And, you know, you mean to tell me everything is a lie and, you know, everything I believe wasn't true. And they actually are planning something against us. But what, what about everything I've done for this country? And, yeah. You're coming to find out that it was all, uh, you know, done in vain. All right. We're just a sleeve. Okay. It says Gen Zers in the civilian world have already taken to the Chinese social media platform TikTok to blast Washington and the military industrial complex that they will not fight America's endless wars. Hmm. Now, isn't that a prophecy? I believe that is a prophecy, right? So again, America's prophecies. All right, for those who are like, oh, America's not written in the Bible. There's nowhere that it says America's going to be destroyed. Well, let's read, let's read, let's read. There's a book of Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 29. It says, um, actually, let's read verse uh, 28 because we start off in uh, Jeremiah 50, all right, 50 and 9. All right, the Lord said he's going to raise and, and, and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations, right, from the north country. So who are those great nations? From the north country and who's going to be leading all right that 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 um that assembly all right russia okay because russia is is in the north country all right when you look at the the global map you look at the positioning all right of the continents of um 
of North America, specifically where America is located, and you look at where Russia is located, all right, on the map of, you know, I say northern part of Asia, all right, you can see that Russia will be considered a, a country that's up, 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 up north, all right. Uh, so continue, uh, Jeremiah 51 and 28, it says, prepare against her the nations with the kings of the Medes, all right, and the captains thereof and all the rulers thereof and all the land of the of his dominion all right so again the kings of the medes is going into mostly mostly uh the heads of um military including russia all right um you have turkey okay you have all these nations that are around that area that are going to side with russia against america and her policies okay and it's it's mostly through america's policies that is going to cause um, the other nations in, in, in NATO and EU to turn against America. Okay, her foreign policies. All right. Um, verse 29, it says, And the land shall tremble and sorrow, for every purpose of the Lord, Yahweh shall be performed against Babylon, to make the land of Babylon a desolation without an inhabitant. So there you go. So that's the, that's the purpose of the Lord. Okay, it's not, it's not up to man. Okay, as much as we would love for this place to be done away already with all the misery i mean come on this place is a hellhole okay there is no happiness here you know and again the more and more the day goes by people are starting to realize how much of a shithole this place really is you know like we always tell you about you know how things were always going to be when life was good and people were chilling and you know people never saw the end coming so so, so this comes like a shock to, to, your, to your to your nervous system you know there was a time where you could, you know, you had aid, you had, you know, uh, you had benefits, you had all kinds of different things. People had jobs, you know, you, you had, you had a life, you know, some people were living paycheck to paycheck, but shit, life was different. You know, inflation wasn't as crazy as it is now, you know, but all of a sudden, you know, your jobs are not paying you all the way, you know, uh, your rent is going up every year, you know, food prices are going up, everything is going up except for your wages when you put in work, you know, the quality of life in America has depleted immensely. Okay. And that goes all the way even to the military, all right? To show you that your leadership doesn't care a damn about the people. Why would they, you know, when the people don't even care about themselves, <laughs> you know, well, you don't make a stand against tyranny. All right. Even in the slightest bit, then, then they, they have the right to do whatever the hell they want to do to you, especially when they warn you. They put it in the movies, right? They put they put it in articles. They put it in in in, in these uh, talk shows, right? They tell you about the future, what's going to be happening with food, what's going to be happening with health, what's going to be happening with technology. They tell you all these things, and yet people sit around and act like, oh, they weren't warned or they weren't told this was all going to happen. You just didn't believe it, and that's your problem. Okay, so the Lord said what that He's going to what He's going to He's He's going to um perform against Babylon, all right, uh, uh, and, and, and to what? To make the land, <clears throat> to make the land uh, uh, um, desolate, okay, without an inhabitant, all right, and the times leading to that, verse 30 says, the mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. What does that mean? All right, that's the, the recruitment. The military is having a hard time recruiting because people don't want to join the military anymore. All right, it's not like World War One, World War Two. All right, where you had propaganda to aid in Americans wanting to fight and be nationalistic. Okay, now this this time the propaganda is not really working on that type of uh, uh, tip. Okay, people are, are, are putting the pieces together. All right, that's why Al Gore was saying that you know um, social media is playing a huge role. All right, in, in democracy and that is not the, it's not like it used to be. You know, because they're, they're having a hard time. All right, spreading the the the, the, the BS. And to, and to to get people in their feelings, you know, through sensationalism, all right, to commit to something that they, they have no idea uh, uh, the the real end goal is, you know, because one 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 side they're, they're being told, oh, you you're fighting for our freedoms, from who? Uh, free, freedoms from who? <laughs> and then one and then and then people are realizing that oh yeah, we're just fighting bankers' wars and you know we're being terrorists and then we call ourselves war heroes. What what the hell is that? You know. When you go when you go overseas and you're you're murking millions of people, women and children, civilians, it doesn't matter, 
hospitals, you know, you're doing all this and then you come back home talking about you're a war, war hero. No, you're a terrorist. Okay. You've gone out there and you've terrorized people in the name of, uh, you know, oh, they, 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 they just, they just don't have the right government or, oh, you know, they, they, they're just abusing their people. It's, it's hu human rights is being abused. We need to go in there and, and step in, you know, it's BS and the people are waking up to it. That's why the mighty men of Babylon have forborn to fight. They have remained in their holds. Their mighty, uh, uh, Slaki, their might have failed. They become as women, all right? They became as women. They have burned their dwelling places. Her bars are broken. So ultimately what? America's might, America's influence is all depleting, okay? As we enter into the time where she needs her strength the most. Okay, you see how the Lord has designed all this thing? Yes, it's a beautiful thing, all right? So it says, um, uh, it says, even enlisted Gen Zers are bashing the military amid a worsening recruitment crisis, while neocon, which is short for uh, neoconservatives, all right, new, the new conservatives, warmongers in the White House dragged the, the war closer to World War III. A new report from Daily Mail shows a number of enlisted TikTokers with millions of followers are bashing the military as a morale crisis spreads like a virus across the ranks. Now, you notice the, the, the analogy they're using, all right, uh, a morale crisis is like a virus that's across the country, um, across the ranks. All right, so keep that in mind. It's, 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 it's done deliberately, okay? Um, again, it's small little things that are sent to the subconscious mind that if you're not aware, you don't pick up on and it feeds right into your, into your subconscious. Okay, the spread of a virus across the ranks. That's 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 done by design. You could have used any other word, but you chose to use that. Anyway, it says military influencer Anthony Laster posted a video that em emphasized the army life is now for, is not for him. Quote, privacy, the pay sucks, shitty food, disrespectful leadership, no sleep. Right? You put that in there in caps, no sleep. All right, the video was viewed more than 600,000 times. It says Laster has more than a million followers on TikTok. So, so to the to the, to these um to these elites, all right, some shit like this can't happen, right? You got somebody who has one million followers. That's that's a lot of people to influence into the wrong direction that they might not want. Okay, it's all about public perception with these devils. Okay, they do the wickedest things and they don't want anyone to look at it for what it is. So that's why it's 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 battered with a whole lot of propaganda and nice things. Okay, all inclusive sounds nice. You know, because of all inclusiveness, well, if I'm allowing you to do whatever you want, whether you're gonna do anything you want or not, allow me to do whatever the hell I want. Allow me to have uh drag people around children, allow me to have uh children transitioning from one gender to the next in the fifth or fourth grade. Allow me to bring all these things. Allow me to have grown ass men associate themselves sexually with, with little children, minors. Something that if you dare to do, if you're an 18 year old and you and you caught with a minor, uh, a 16 year old or, or a 17 year old or whatever the, the age is, you could be facing some jail time. But no, let's make a separate rule and not discriminate against grown ass 50, 60 year old men who are interested in three, four year old little children. Right. We can't we can't we can't really discriminate against that. Right. We can't talk against that. You see the confusion. So that's why they put all this all inclusive bullshit out there. So it allows them to bring about their satanic bullshit because they say, well, it's it's all inclusive. If you don't allow it, then you're not being inclusive. You're 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 you're, you're, you're engaging in, in hate speech. Bigotry, you know, and and and, and we have to be all love. He <laughs> uh, saw. Okay, so it says um, his negative, listen to this, his negative press on military life leaves a terrible impression on recruits. Ah, there you go. So the truth is not, is no longer uh, important. It's about perception. Okay, politicians don't care about the truth. Your governments don't care about the truth. All they care about is public opinion. Remember that. Okay, if it's, if it's going to aid in whatever, uh, um, you know, direction that they want, that's where they're going to go. They don't care about the truth, whether you know it or not. It doesn't matter to them. Okay. This is politicians, quote, 
from both sides have concerns about about the platform's links with China and accuse it of pushing sub subversive anti-US propaganda, Daily Mail pointed out. Well, your president is pushing anti-American uh, 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 agendas. When you're constantly sending billions of dollars to a different country to aid them militarily or whatever, <laughs> and your American people are sitting here wondering why are we not getting this type of, type of money? Like, we need it. You're anti-American. So they try to use these words to twist it up, twist it up and make it seem like people are off on some shit. You know, really, the people are waking up. You know, the people are just waking up and they're like, nah, we're questioning. And they're like, oh, no, we can't do this. We can't have this. Right. It says another TikToker told thousands of followers not to join the military. And they have another one of you got these Jake, a uh, couple of Jake women dancing. You know, let me, let me click, let me use that one. Okay. Um, it says, another guy says, three reasons you may not want to join the military. That's an Edomite right looking guy. You know, five reasons why you shouldn't join the army. They got somebody over there, you know. It says, um, Daily Mail spoke with a defense official who said, uh, with a defense official who said, quote, <clears throat> DOD components are required to review and approve non-official mob mobile applications for use on government issued devices. You see, that's all um, a gateway to ultimately bring about a bigger platform. See, they tried on with, the, with their officials, right? And then they're going to bring it out to the public. So it's, there's going to be some form of regulation, right? Whether it be a software um, or whether it be just outright law or a ban or whatever, it's going to come down where it's going to make it impossible to use certain apps unless you have proper identification digitally, of course, you know, boy, come here. It says the DOD never authorized the use of TikTok and several organizations have already banned its download onto its mobile devices, uh, onto its mobile devices. Users are required to sign a user agreement when the device is issued. You hear that? And that's going to be for pretty much all apps, okay, including the use of internet. You're going to be required to sign in. All right. Um, you're going to sign a user agreement form. Okay, now they they, they, they they already preparing people with something known as the two-step verification process. It's going to be stepped up even more, all right, where it's going to be straight up um, uh, biometrics. You have to scan your face. You know, every single time your iris will be scanned, it's going to be starting to do the shit at, at your jobs. And then th those requirements, because it's going to take time for it to get into your houses. At first, it's going to start with your jobs, whether you like it or not. This is just how the job space is now. You know, it's either you do it or you don't. Right. And that's how they're going to be bringing in that, that MOTB. All right. Through 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 um, through the, 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 the need to, to work, to have a job. Right or the need to be identified in the system. All these things are being done strategically. All right, the need to, to, to be able to have money, you know, to, to perform in this economy. Right, all these things. Right. So continuing, it says um, the agreement infor uh, informs them of the proper device use requirements and their responsibilities for the appropriate use and download of unmanaged applications. There you go. So if we don't have any power over this, you cannot use it, right? In other words, the truth, the truth is, is damning because a lot of people in the military, trust, trust, believe it or not, they watch the truth, all right? I believe there's brother, there's mad brothers who are in the military that found out about the truth while they were in the military, okay? The Lord does that, all right? So you can imagine now when, when all these things go viral, you know, a lot of people, especially TikTok, you could post small little snippets of information on there, you know? And a lot of truth is being brought out on that platform too. Now, I'm not a you know a TikTok person. I don't really um, use that app, but I've seen how brothers and elders, you know, uh, um, the elder Malcolm, where he utilizes uh, TikTok in, a, in in an exceptional way. I mean, brings out mad information through TikTok, you know, and that's that's a that's a blessing from the Lord, you know. So that definitely TikTok is, um, you know, like I said, I remember when TikTok first came out. I said, oh yeah, this is this this an, an omen, all right, spelling the end of America because and the end of the world because TikTok makes the sound of a clock, all right? The, the clock is ticking, 
right? So the time is up and, and these are the last days, the last times, look what people are doing, right? TikTok is exposing a whole lot of madness. The stupid shit that people do is all uploaded right, right up on TikTok, you know? And I wouldn't be surprised. It's it's another software device that Esau created to, to gather more information. Uh, so continuous says, uh, uh, the agreement informs them of the proper device use requirements and the responsibilities for the appropriate use and download of un un unmanaged applications. Additionally, all DOD personnel are required to take the annual cyber awareness challenge, which has modules specific to, to mobile devices, social media, and geolocation capabilities. There you go. Geolocation, right? We talked about geolocation. We've done a video or two on that some time ago. We might have to revisit that. But geolocation, going into geofencing, all right, wherever you're, you're located at, these devices will be able to ping, all right, and then find out, okay, this person is here. This is like a GPS on your phone. It's literally a GPS, all right. It says the official added DOD mobile application policy requires DOD components to review and prohibit the use of applications that pose potential risk. That, that right there is a behavior modification at the workplace, right? So through the DOD, they're already starting something known as behavior modification because now since it's prohibited, right? First, they said um, people are required to take these annual uh, challenges or trainings, whatever. And now it's... it's um, um, they also have a requirement, okay, um, to prohibit certain uses, right? Certain apps and so on and so forth. So again, what else in the future are they going to be bringing down the pike in the name of security, right? Your your identification being biometric, okay? It's going to be a requirement, okay? In the, in the name of national safety, right? And the, and the, and the, and the, and the uh, safety of the homeland, you know, this is what we need to do. You know, using uh, innovative technology to make sure we ha we have an identity of all people that are on the internet. You know, yeah, so that's coming. It says DoD is currently updating its mobile application security policy to establish a process for prohibiting the installation of any application that DoD believes is inappropriate to be downloaded to a government device as well. Okay. In some cases, warfare is sh has shifted from destroying men and military machinery to paralyzing and controlling the mind. Of course, all right. That's what it's always been. That's why you have wartime propaganda. Okay, most wars will not happen unless the people are are made to believe that it has to happen. All right, it's just history. When you go back into all the wars that's happened since America's insemination, has always been by way of propaganda. Okay, look up um, Edward Bernays. All right, look up uh, Edward Bernays. Okay, it says, according to military publication, uh, Devstrat, the sixth domain of warfare is cognitive warfare, right? Hence, you have something known as uh, silent weapons for quiet wars. Okay, using smart technology as a, as a, as a form of um, as a form of a weapon. OK, uh, it says the Chinese understand cognitive warfare exceptionally well with the TikTok virus spreading through uh, uh, through America's military, which comes amid a worsening recruitment crisis. Right. Everything is, is worsening in America because America is at its worst it's ever been. That means it's down. It's going down. It's out of here. OK, morale is at an all time low. Spiritual spiritual spiritualism is at an all time low. You know, you got all this satanic bs going on i mean openly too all right they, they're merging the the the, the, the so-called church the people who believe in the church now they're just openly coming out and letting the world know that the church has always stood up for satanism all right masquerading as uh as 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 oh we love god and jesus and all but it's it's really truly rooted in satanism all right it says it's very anti-god and anti the bible all right it says meanwhile radical neocons in the white house are gunning for World War Three. There you go. So, <laughs> if you don't have enough people to fight the war, what are you gonna do? But in reality, the war is really gonna be against the people who are waking up and fighting against the governments and against the system, and against the lifestyle that they don't want to be forced upon them. Okay. So that's what's gonna happen. All right. You can see it happening. Is brewing. All right. When you have the military or people who are supposed to be in the military pushing back, 
uh, and, and who's going to be fighting in the war, right? Besides AI robots, who's going to be fighting in the war? Okay, so let's bring that back in um, Jeremiah 51, verse 30 specifically says, The mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. They have remained in their holds. Their might have failed or hath failed. They became as women. All right, you, even, even in American military, you literally have men becoming women, quite literally. Okay, all right, changing their, their, their transitioning and so on and so forth, man. <sighs> it says they have burned uh, her dwelling places. Her bars are broken. So the power, the staff, all right, that 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 power that America has always been known for, all right, has shifted. Okay, whether it be militarily, whether it be financially, okay, politically, whatever you want to call it, America's power has shifted and has gone down and down the drain. Okay, it's going down and down the drain. And a lot of people are waking up to it. All right, so you, you're realizing quickly that the prophets were not lying. Okay, and the warning has gone out. All right, and now it's time for the pain. Okay, now it's time for the pain. 2024 is going to be a year to remember for sure. Anyway, I'm going to leave it off there. Lord willing, you are edified and informed. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakwadash. The water, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. The water, the water, the water. And uh, until next time, Shalom.